just in case if any of y'all asking i don't do this at home i am not a mountain climber i am not a rock climber oh shit tumbled level yo what's up everybody it's your boy general 315 i'm back again with another sneaker review video and today we got those jordan one shadow 2.0s on deck all right we got these ones from kick cool they asked me if i wanted to do a review i chose these and they sent them over it took a while for these to get to me probably like a month so i'm just letting y'all know right now kick who shipping slow i don't know why don't ask me why i just get shoes and do reviews of them that's it i don't really know the logistics of what they do but i'm just letting y'all know that the shipping has been relatively slow lately for them just to let you know this is a ua shoe so it's just an educational video i just get the shoes and review them i pretty much will review anything someone sends me now that i think about it but anyway this is a ua shoe just to let y'all know i don't condone the sale or resell ua goods i just get these shoes and review them and give you guys kind of like a picture of what we got these joints are new they just recently came out and there's a lot of mixed feelings about these um but before i get started into breaking the shoe down just make sure you guys subscribe to the channel comment down below thumbs up the video let me know what you guys think just off first glance i'm not as satisfied with this shoe as i am with the og the first pair I like the first pair a lot better. I do like this pair. However, the first pair just blows this one out of the water, primarily because of the leather quality on the shoe. But we'll break it down and then, you know, you guys let me know down in the comments section what you guys think. Um, I'm pretty sure that this shoe was hard to get, but we'll get into that. I don't know what the resale cost of this shoe is at the moment. I think it's somewhere in the 300s i'm not really sure i can't really tell you i don't know but it's on the screen stock x and goat you know how i do for y'all i'll let y'all know what the resale cost is if you want to go and buy it and spend the resale money that's your choice if you want to go with a ua that is also your choice i'm just reviewing the shoe just to show you what i got all right so let's break the shoe down real quick so we have a primarily gray shoe and this is much different from the first shadow the first shadow was kind of like that bread style colorway but this is like a chicago style blocking mostly the shoe is suede we do have leather on here but the leather is subpar to what we are accustomed to getting i think jordan brand just kind of put the shoe out just because i don't know it was, it was kind of like all right let's just give him another shadow i mean i could be wrong but this shoe i mean it's a nice color blocking i love the colorway instead of the actual toe being white and the mid panel being white they have it black which i i love i love this blocking but i'm just not fond of the leather i think the leather is not so good on this pair and this is a replica of the real pair so you already know that this is what the real pair looks like you know what i'm saying so just breaking the shoe down we have all suede all the gray on the shoe is suede and the leather is a flat leather it's not great i think it's more like a jordan one mid style or leather it's it's just not the greatest leather i've seen much much better leather it could have even been tumbled leather they just went with this nice flat leather which i think just makes the shoe look dull i mean i love the colorway though so we have a black toe box we have a black mid panel and we have a black ankle collar we have nice gray suede around here and it's some transitional suede but you know it's gray so you ain't really gonna see much of it but you can kind of see it there it's right there and then you have that nice suede swoosh right there the wings logo looks great i mean the shoe looks great it's built very well white midsole right there black outsole looks good hourglass shape looks very good right there medial side of the shoe looks like the lateral side of the shoe and i mean that's pretty much it we got black laces the nylon tongue is black you know we have the black with the gray tag right here standard shoe tree comes with these and then the same old you know black with the gray on the insole there and then we have a tag right there that takes you to the nike website i've already tried it just letting y'all know i think these came with an extra set of laces and yes they did they came with gray laces and me you know i'm gonna keep the black laces in because 
the tongue is black, but I mean, I think they look decent with this as well. I mean, it's a it's a nice shoe. It's a nice shoe if you like the shoe, which I like the shoe. I think it's, it's definitely a cop, but I just, I'm not satisfied with this leather. The leather is just, I mean, if you can see it here, the leather is just non-interesting and I mean, it's just like stiff. It's a stiff leather and, and the, the retail pair is exactly the same. So you can go ahead and buy it from the retail. Like you can buy the retail one if you want or you can just get a UA. Me personally, like I said, I'm gonna get the UA and call it a day. I would be very dissatisfied if I bought this for a resale cost over the, the retail price. If it's not 160, I'm not buying it. And that's just me. I mean, I, that's my opinion of the whole situation. I think that Jordan brand could have put a better quality leather on here and went with that. But you know, it's still a dope colorway. It's still a dope colorway. So you guys let me know what you think down in the comment section. I'm gonna rock these joints regardless. I'm just not satisfied with the leather quality, but that's the way Jordan brand did it. So that's the way Kiku did it. You know what I'm saying? So if I had to rate the shoe in terms of materials used, I'm gonna go with a seven on these. I think the suede is good but I don't think the leather is great. I think it's like Jordan 1 mid quality leather. So, eh, you know what I'm saying? But if I had to go with the suede, the suede is definitely nice. It's like the same suede as the um, University Blues. Same type of stuff, just gray. Construction of the shoe, nine, nine and a half out of 10, definitely perfect there was no flaws that i could see anywhere on the shoe when i scanned through it but i mean it's really just the leather was disappointing but you guys let me know down in the comment section so that's all i got for this shoe guys i'm just gonna jump right into this on foot review and you guys let me know what do you think is this a cop or a drop all right you guys stay humble you guys stay blessed and i'll catch you on the next one Peace. it's your boy general 305 i'm out here at Another location. I'm out here at the parkway at the lake. I don't know if y'all can see the lake from here, but I'm about to walk towards the lake and uh, see if I can get this on foot of the Shadow 2.0s. I want to get a quick on foot just to have something on deck for y'all. And I'm still not satisfied with the leather quality on these joints. I think they dropped the ball. I really do. I really think that Nike brand could have did much much better with that leather quality they really missed it on this one it's a lot of shade but i'm gonna find a spot i think i'm gonna go over there and get me a quick on foot over there on them rocks it should be dope oh yeah right here it's a good spot right here y'all it's a real good spot it's gonna be good if y'all see on the news that general broke his leg because he decided to get fancy for y'all doing these goddamn on foots. Make sure y'all start to go fund me. I made it out here. It took a minute, but I got here. I had to lace up my kicks because, you know, I had to use the hiking kicks to get out here, but this is dope, y'all. This is dope. I still can't believe there's no tumble leather on these shoes. I don't know what Jordan Brand was thinking. It's still cool, it's still a dope shoe. I forgot my hat. <laughs> 